So, I guess this is it. I believe so, my host. A tailor shop, huh? You think they've got anything in my size? A lost soul in need of saving, and you want to rob its place of business. Look at this dress I'm wearing. It's ruined. I figure I'm owed. Duty first, my host. Petty theft after. I'll see. It's covered with gunk. I can't see through it. It's boarded up. No getting through there. It's covered with gunk. I can't see through it. Look at that. This place is falling apart. A tailor shop. Looks like it's been shut down for a while. My host? My host. Sorry, you say something? Certainly nothing that matters any longer. Ugh, the stupid rain. I look horrible. I have no idea how that got there, and nobody can prove otherwise. Huh, some kind of band. Danny and Linda Marconi? Never heard of them. They're all from last season. It worked, didn't it? Jeez, what happened here? Looks like it leads to a back room. It says to ring the bell if I need help. It's just a bell. Danny? Danny, someone's out front! Danny, where the hell are you? Sorry for the wait, ladies. My assistant seems to be... out. What can I do for you? <sighs> How long are you gonna stare at that thing? It's getting dark. Just one more. It has to be here. What are you doing, anyway? A man was murdered last night, in the middle of a major blizzard. Believe me, I remember. Right. So how come nobody else has? Eh? I've been checking on every local news website all day. There's not a single mention of it. I called the police myself. We know they know about it. They must have suppressed the news, but why? I'm sure the cops got their reasons. And they can keep them. I don't care who plugged the guy. I only care about what happened. After. I know. So, the victim didn't have any identification on him. I was hoping a news report would give us his name, but it looks like we're on our own. Well, something familiar at least. Let's go talk to our pet cop. Maybe he knows something. Thank God the coffee stands are still open. I think I'm really going to need them. It's your dime, sweetheart. Oh, it's you. Had a feeling you'd swing by. It's just a police car. There's nobody inside. Detective? Uh-huh. You found a Jane Doe at the Carth house, right? Yeah, what about it? Her name was Mary Meehan. She was an actress with the Gotham Collective Theater Company. You sure about that? Yes. I won't ask how you know that, but we'll check out that name and see if you're right. At the very least, we can locate the family and tell them what happened. Thanks. I guess we owe you another one. Can we talk inside? It's freezing out here. Can't smoke inside, thanks to our friend the mayor. So you couldn't maybe, I don't know, not smoke for a while? Right. I caught the evening news today. There wasn't one mention of the murdered man in Chelsea. That program hasn't been the same since they replaced that blonde anchor woman. Nobody else talked about it either. Not online, not any other news program. Nobody. You must have suppressed the news. Why? 
Because we're the cops, that's why. Look, before we take this any further, why are you so interested in this one? What makes this murder more important than any other? He was killed right in front of me. And what, suddenly this makes it personal? Well, kinda. It might have something to do with me. Uh-huh. And why is that? Why is this murder so important? You're the one who sent me there in the first place. That can't be a coincidence. So, you think we sent this guy to your location to... what, get killed in front of you? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. You don't get to ask me anything. You need to tell me why this murder is so important. He was looking for me. He was? Why? I don't really know. Uh-huh. Did you know the guy? No, I didn't. So, how did you know he was looking for you? Wait, let me guess. You just do. Something like that. Something like that ain't good enough. What else you got? I was there. You know I was there. Surely I'm a suspect. You think I'm crazy? I made sure your name is nowhere near this thing. And unless you give me a good reason, it stays that way. So tell me, why is this murder so important? You've trusted me before. Why can't you trust me again? Trust has nothing to do with it. Look, I don't know what your deal is. I've never asked, and frankly, I don't want to know. But I do know that you've helped me clear a few cases. And once in a while, in return, I answer some of your questions. That's fine. Quid pro quo. It's not in the rule book, but it's how we get things done. But this case, it goes way up. We can't bring in anyone from outside. Not without a good reason. So give me one. Why is this murder so important? I couldn't begin to explain it. It's more than just a murder, more horrible than just a killing. Uh-huh. Any details on what that could be? It needs to be stopped. That's all. Sorry. I know we got an arrangement, but my hands are tied. Fine. If that's the way it is. For what it's worth, it's nothing personal. You got other questions, I'm here. Just don't ask about this case. You get me? Yeah. I get you. Keep our friend busy. I'm gonna sniff around. Not that I don't appreciate the company, but why the heck are you just standing there? Oh, um, I was just admiring the brickwork. The brickwork. At the bottom are the words, Alex Silva, Commissioner. Sure. When was this building built? It says authorized personnel only beyond this point. Fortunately, I think that only applies to living people. I got no idea. Low-rise bonding, very typical of the era. A water cooler in case the scorching hot weather gets too much for you. Whatever. Looks like some kind of duty roster. Nothing relevant. Pretty cold. Why would I want that? Around. Isn't that what you're doing? I'm a cop in front of the cop station. What's your excuse? According to the nameplate, this desk belongs to someone named Piero. I have no idea who that could be. According to the nameplate, this desk belongs to someone named Disher. I have no idea who that could be. Aha! There's our guy. His name is George Austin, according to this note. Looks like he lived on the Upper West Side. That's definitely the spook we saw. According to this note, his name is George Austin. That's definitely the spook we saw. According to this note, his name is George Austin.
night like this. It might take a while. There's nothing I can do with that except look at it. This is some lobby. Careful you don't break anything, we'll be in Hawk for life. Well, your life anyway, not mine. That vase looks more expensive than everything in my apartment put together. I don't recognize the artist, but it looks peaceful enough. He's watching my every move. Hi. Yes, miss? I'm looking for George Austin. Is he in? No, he's not. Sorry. Is there any way I can look inside George's apartment? It's really important. Sorry. Unless you've been authorized, I can't let you in. Do you know where George Austin is? I really couldn't say. Sorry. It says, Holiday Clothing Drive. It's cold this winter. Please leave your old clothes in the box below for people less fortunate than you. It's signed by George Austin. Whatever Joey did, the doorman doesn't seem to have noticed. Um, dropped my pen. Hi. Yes, miss? I, uh, heard that George Austin was having a clothing drive here. Oh, yes. George does it every year. He brings the box to Grace himself. Can you tell me anything else about the clothing drive? No. But if you have any old clothes, feel free to give them to me. I'll put them in the box. Better not. If you did that, you wouldn't have any clothes left. You said that George takes the clothes to Grace. Yes, he does. He has an attachment to the place, even though we've got a fine church in this area. Church? So by Grace, you meant Grace Church? Yeah, the one downtown. What did you think I meant? Nothing. Never mind. Thanks. Sure. A church. Of all the places. Really? Ghosts don't like churches? Being a ghost has nothing to do with it. It says Grace Church in New York, Episcopal, Reverend Gabriel Ullman Rector. It says Grace Church. Of course, we knew that already. It leads into the church. Weekend Organ Meditations. It's a book full of handwritten prayers.
This book is full of prayers written by the church's congregation. They're all anonymous and they're all written by hand. These prayers just go on and on. There must be dozens of them. I don't have time to read them all. With this sample of George's handwriting, I might be able to find something written by him. Gotcha. I don't need to turn to any other page. He looks pretty deep in thought. Hi, could I talk to you for a minute? Please keep your voice down. Oh, um, sorry. Is this better? Yes. What can I do for you? I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Father Gabriel Ullman. Could you tell me about that book over there? For some, silent prayer isn't enough. They want to write it down and make it real. That is what that book is for. It's pretty quiet here tonight. God's house remains open despite the weather. If anybody needs us, we are here. Why the whispers? There isn't anybody around. That makes no difference. The tranquility of this place must be maintained, whether anybody is here or not, especially on a night like tonight. Well, thanks. I'll be going. Stay safe. This is not a night to be outside. It's a schedule of services. Nothing is going on at the moment. Hi. Yes, miss? Did George know anyone named Leah? Leah? You mean the police officer? Police officer? Yeah. Haven't seen her around for a while, though. Did they break up or something? I have no idea. Too bad, if so. I liked her. She was good for George. You said Leah was good for George. Could you tell me why? Uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have said any of that. You're not a cop or anything yourself, are you? Well... No, you're not. You would have shown me your badge if you were. Forget it. Sorry. Detective? Uh-huh. I know the victim's name is George Austin. Yeah, yeah, this crap doesn't impress me anymore. And even if it did, you're not a cop. You're not even officially on the books. So? Make it unofficial. You've done it before. Not this time, sorry. With all due respect, you need to back off. Have you ever been to Grace Church for any reason? Church? No, I haven't. Why? No reason. Forget it. So, George Austin was involved with a police officer named Leah. <sighs> That's it, isn't it? All the secrecy. It's because the police are involved. You want to get us both in trouble? Of course not. I want to help you. Look what I discovered already. Look, I keep my distance from you for a reason. I know you got your sources. I don't know who they are, but you have a way. That goes without saying. Leah Piero was is a fine detective. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Maybe you can help, maybe you can't. But I know you're gonna stick your nose in no matter what I say. Sorry, but I have to. Yeah, I get that. I can't stop you, but I can't help you either. You're on your own. Believe me, detective. If there's anything I'm not, it's on my own. Well, just be careful. 
Well, see you around. Uh huh. This thing with you standing around is getting kind of weird. I'm not going to investigate every desk I see. I don't even know who this disher person is. Yep, this is Leah Piero's desk, all right. The journal is labeled Midtown Jaywalking Citations 2001 to 2004. Interesting light reading. This folder seems to be full of old expense reports. Too many to go through even if I could open it. I assume it's a telephone, although it's hard to tell these days. It's one of those computer things. Looks like it's powered down. Hmm, cute kid. All I can do is look at it. I told you, I'm waiting for a cab. Hey. I don't know where you're going. I ain't gonna ask. Just don't step on any toes, okay? We cops can get pretty touchy when it concerns one of our own. Yeah, so do I. What did you mean by that? Exactly what it sounded like. Whoever George was, he was one of us. Us? Yeah. Come on, it's a long way to Astoria. So, this is what a cop's salary gets you, huh? A two-story in Astoria. It's not bad. Nicer than some of the foster homes I grew up in. Anyway, shall we? Yeah, yeah, we both know the drill by now. Just a mailbox. It's pretty dark in there, but it looks like a little girl's room on the other side. Never did make a snowman back in the day. I suppose it's too late now. Hello? Anything? Seems quiet so far. Let me look around. A dresser with some random knickknacks on top, nothing relevant. Painting of some old guy looking out a window. Don't know if it's art or not, but it's okay. A dresser with some random knickknacks on top, nothing relevant. It's a door, what can I say? It's just a fridge, humming quietly. Hello? Yeah? Is anybody there? Who are you? Mister? Are you looking for my mom? Uh, I... Yes. Is she around? Uh-huh. I have to practice. Sorry. Damn it! She's left this shirt in the middle of the floor. I... Guess she won't be picking it up. That bear looks like it's been sat on more than played with. It's his fault if he doesn't get out of the way. Excuse me. Oh, hi. I'm practicing. I can see that. You're pretty good. Thanks. I'll only be a minute, then you can get back to it. Well, okay. My name's Joey. What's yours? Are you sure you should be here? Sure. I'm Kendra Haskins. Are you here all alone? No. Mom's here. Are you sure? I can't find her. I'm pretty sure. I'd know if she was gone. What about your dad? Is he around? No. 
He's late. Late? Late for what? Picking me up. On Fridays we go to the abacus, and then I live with him until Monday. But he's late. You said you go to the abacus. It's his work. Your dad takes you to work? Mm-hmm. He's the boss. Your dad's the boss, huh? He must be a very important man. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Can you tell me anything else about this abacus place? It's dad's work. TVs and computers and stuff. He lets me play with them when nobody's around. No, not this time. Not with her. Besides, it's not like that line ever works anyway. Kendra, I need you to tell me the last thing you remember. Why? Just humor me. Um, I was coming home from school and... I came here. That's it. Are you sure? Yes. I've been waiting for my dad. Hey, kiddo. I'd like you to come with me. Um... Why? I'm gonna take you to your dad. Dad? Yeah, he couldn't make it, so I was asked to take you. What should I have for breakfast? Eh? Breakfast? What should I have for breakfast? I have no idea. Mmm... I have to practice. K.K. the Troll. Cute. It's just a fridge, humming quietly. Joey, you all right? Yeah, sure, whatever. We got a spook. Is it Leah Piero? No, it's her daughter, a little girl. I see. How old? Ten, maybe eleven. And she's okay? You mean, besides being dead? Yeah, she's playing the piano. Well. Yeah, well. There's a letter in here. It was wet and stuck to the side of the mailbox, but I got it. This letter is soaking wet. It's practically falling apart in my hands. I'd better hold on to this for now. So Kendra's dad is the boss of this place? This is just a bunch of junk. There's a new model already? Figures. The tag on his shirt says Jordan. I remember that old cartoon. It must be on DVD now or something. Young guy. Looks pretty bored. Can't say I blame him. Uh, some kind of neck brace? I have no idea what that thing is. The light barely pierces the gloom. Boxes of office junk. Don't know what's inside. It's a trash can. Pretty typical as these things go. A bunch of discarded papers. Someone wrote quarterly earnings on the cover. Positively riveting. A bunch of meetings and appointments are written down on this thing. Nothing really stands out, but the weekends are all labeled Kendra. A 
It says, Call Joe. I have no idea who that could be. Looks like an internal memo. Some kind of technical stuff. It's all Greek to me. The tag has Leah Piero's address on it. Best guess, it's the key to her house. I don't know much about these moose things, but I've seen Red use them often enough. Some kind of animation is playing. I think Red calls this a screen saver. Whatever it is, I'm glad I don't have a stomach anymore. Huh, whatever I did, it worked. What a surprise, nothing happens. It says Exeter House. Emile seems to be on the fifth floor. It's frosted on the inside. I can't see through. It leads to a small fire escape. Here he is, Emile Haskins. Hello? Hi, is this Emile? Yes, that's me. Who is this? My name is Rosangela Blackwell. Could I come in? I'd like to ask you some questions. You mean there's been progress? I'm... I'm not sure. I'm just trying to learn what happened. You're not with the police? No, they won't talk to me. I'm hoping you will. They won't talk to me either. Come on up. Rosangela Blackwell, was it? Yes, that's me. Come on in. I should have guessed you weren't with the police. I've spoken to enough cops lately to know the difference. So, you said you're trying to learn what happened? What exactly do you know? I know that something happened to Leah. Is that all you know? Yeah, I'm afraid so. She's been missing for weeks, that's what happened. Big shot police detective, poof, gone. Then, our daughter. So yeah, something happened. And nobody seems to be able to find out what. I know that Kendra is dead. I'm sorry. What? No. We don't know that. Nobody knows that. Not yet. Someone took her and she's missing. Not dead. I... Uh, of course. Uh, I'm sorry. The police might have given up on her, but I haven't. She's out there. Somewhere. I know it. George Austin was killed last night. What? George is dead? You didn't know? No. Of course not. You think the police tell the ex-husband anything? Ex-wife and daughter go missing. I'm suspect number one. How did it happen? He was shot. Shot? Jesus. I can't say I liked the guy. Leah dumped me for him after all, but Jesus. I always figured he was into something shady, but I thought it was more white collar. Insider trading or whatever. But someone shooting him? That's like mob stuff. Is that what's going on? Was he in the mob? I don't know. Jesus, Leah, some police detective you are hooking up with a mobster. I don't know if that's what happened. I hope not. If it did, I'll never forgive her. You work at the Wired Abacus? Yeah, real glamorous, right? I wouldn't know. It's a job, is all I can say. I'm able to afford the rent on this shoebox apartment, at least. Are you familiar with Grace Church? Me? No. But Leah used to go there before we were married. She was really hung up on the place. How did you find out Kendra was missing? Her school called. The same day her mother didn't show up for work. They thought she was with me. I wish she was. Can you tell me anything about yourself? Is it relevant? Well, it could be. 
Hmm. Well, I'm a tech nerd. Worked for a bunch of startups back in the late 90s. Now I work at a chain store. Moved into this place about five years ago. Rented it from some Indian lady. Rent in this city is highway robbery, but there's no way I'm moving further away from my little girl. Well, I'll see you later, Emil. Yeah. Sure. See ya. Hey, wait. Why are you doing this? You said you weren't with the police, so why? There's much more at stake. Maybe. I, I don't care about the big picture. Can you help her or not? Yes. It's what I do. Poor guy. He's grieving, and he doesn't even know it yet. <sighs> it never gets easier. Some kind of oil painting, I think. I can't tell what it's supposed to be. Lots of books on accounting and business management. Oh, and a couple of comic books. That thing needs a date with a needle and thread, or a fireplace. I guess that's the date the picture was taken? He is a cop, all right. She must have still been a beat cop when this was taken. That's definitely the little girl I saw. I guess that hat belongs to her mother. It's Emil. He looks leagues different than the sad sack we've been talking to. Emil is in here, lying on the bed and staring at the ceiling. I should just leave him alone. Hi there. Hi. Can I help you? I'm surprised you're open with the weather this bad. Yeah, me too. But I only live two blocks away, and I could use the overtime. I'm looking for the manager. Emil Haskins, I think his name is? Mr. Haskins? He's not in. Taking time off for personal stuff, I think. I'm not sure when he'll be back. Is there a way I can get into the manager's office? Um, did he give you permission to go in there? Yes. Yes, he did. Oh, then he should have given you the code. Code? Yeah, for the keypad next to the door. Thanks. Sure. Locked, of course. According to the label, this should get me into Leah Piero's house.
I don't see why I'd need that note. I'd better leave them here. Huh, another my phone upgrade is coming out in six months. Didn't one just come out last week? It says, call Joe. I don't need to use someone else's phone. Hi again. Mm-hmm. Do you have any copies of the Parental Eye software? Parental Eye? Yeah, we got plenty of those left. They didn't sell very well. I guess people don't like to spy on their children, but me? I don't judge. Anyway, we got a bunch behind the counter. That'll be $14.99. Do you take debit cards? Sure. Here you go. Thanks. Thanks. Sure. again. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Sure. It seems to be installed.
That did it. It's about time. I'm freezing out here. <sighs> it's freezing in here. And it's not from the cold. Oh, good. You feel it too. I was worried it was just me. What is it? I don't know. Nothing nice, that's for sure. The label on the key says Emil. It looks like a fuse box. It's in much better shape than the last one I saw. Looks like someone's been doing some DIY. It looks totally ordinary. It looks totally ordinary. A cheap reproduction painting of a sad-eyed woman. Too cheesy for the bathroom, I guess. An ad for a sports car. A plastic Christmas tree. There's a lot of dust on it. Was it even used last December? Air freshener and bug spray. A child's broken bicycle. Ugh, it's not moving. Who are you? Hello? Leah? Is that you? That's Officer Piero, and you don't get to ask questions. You can't see it, but there's a Bushnell 22 millimeter rifle aimed right at your head. Step into the middle of the room now. Good. Now turn around. Face the shelf. Now I repeat, who are you? I'm Rosangela Blackwell. I'm the Bestower. The Bestower? You're the Bestower? You? As far as I know. Thank God. You have no idea. No idea what it's been like. Hiding in this little panic room. Waiting. Not knowing. Not knowing what? What exactly is going on? Wait. You mean... George didn't tell you? No, he... he died before he could tell me anything. Died? George is dead? Yes. I'm sorry. Did you save him? His ghost? Spirit? Or whatever? No. Leah? Sorry, I... we were close. Towards the end. He was a good person. A bit lost, maybe, but we all were. He didn't deserve that. Hell, none of us do. Where are you? Behind the wall. In a little room. The room has been specially sealed. Nothing physical or spiritual can harm us in here. We have enough supplies to last us a few more months. But we probably won't need it now that you're here. Leah, I need you to tell me what happened. Of course. George didn't tell you. He couldn't have told you. He won't be telling anybody anything ever again. Leah, please. Yes, I know. It's just hard to say. I mean, who could I tell? Who would believe me? Emil? Corey? Sam? God, they must be worried sick. There was no time to say goodbye, but at least we're safe in here. Sorry, did you say we? Is someone else in there with you? Yes, my little Kendra. I didn't want her to get mixed up in all this, but I'm going to save her too if I can. Leah? Kendra is... Kendra is dead. I'm sorry. I know that. Of course I know that. But sometimes I can pretend she's just sleeping. She's still. So still. But her spirit is still with me. I can't see her, but I can feel her. Sense her. It helps. Leah, are you sure Kendra's spirit is in there? Of course. She has to be. I had to bring her here with me. I had to keep her spirit safe. Safe from whatever happened to George, to the others. In here with me, she's safe. She is safe, isn't she? I can't say if she's safe or not, but she's not in there with you. What? How? How can you know that? I... well, you know who I am. What I can do. I saw her. Kendra. Her ghost, I mean. She's not in there with you. I'm sorry. You saw her. That means they wouldn't have done that. They wouldn't dare, would they? Hold my daughter's soul for ransom? That's sick. Her soul is fine. For the moment. She's upstairs in her room. Oh, thank God. Listen to me. My daughter is dead, and I'm thanking God. I can't do this much longer. 
You must think I'm horrible. You'll help her, won't you? That's what you do, right? Yes, that's what I do. I really need you to tell me what happened. I can't help you if you don't tell me. Help Kendra first. I'm sorry, but she has top priority. I feel bad for George and the others, but this is Kendra. Damn everyone else. Help her, then I'll tell you everything you need to know. Can you give me anything else to go on? I told you. Help her, then I'll tell you everything you need to know. We can try to bring Kendra's ghost down here. You can talk to her if you want. That might help her. God, no. You have to get her spirit away from this house, away from me, as soon as possible. I can't put her at risk. She might be dead, but I can't risk that. Anything but that. What does Kendra like for breakfast? Breakfast? What does that have to do with anything? I don't know. She keeps asking about breakfast. Oh, the password. Password? If I was busy on a case, I'd ask a colleague to escort Kendra home. She didn't know everyone I worked with, so I taught her to ask them, what did I have for breakfast? And if they replied, prunes in a Danish, she would know they could be trusted. It was... it was supposed to keep her safe. Why don't you come out? We can work together. No. You saw what happened to George. I step out of this room and they get me. And if Kendra is here when that happens, no, I, I won't risk it. Once she's... safe. I'll come out, and damn the consequences. I'm going to leave now, Leah. I'll be back when... Well, I'll be back. Just one question before you go. How is she? Does she know that she's... you know? No, but she will. That's part of how it works. They come to terms with it, and then they leave. I see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to do this. This whole thing just spiraled out of control. Yeah, it always does. You okay? Sure. J just give me a second. I thought the basement smelled a little funny, but I never thought... Yeah. Take all the time you need. Hey, Kendra? Sorry to bother you again, but I have something I want to ask you. Well, okay. Listen, I really think you need to come with me. Um, why? I'm gonna take you to see your mom. I told you. Mom's right here. And I need to practice. Sorry. Hey, Kendra? Sorry to bother you again, but I have something I want to ask you. Well, okay. Listen, I really think you need to come with me. Um, why? Look, your dad really wants to see you. I'm here to take you to him. What should I have for breakfast? I believe the answer is prunes and a danish? You're really going to take me to see dad? You betcha. Okay, let's go. The house is so quiet. Mom must be asleep. Hey, who are you? This is Rosa. She's with me. Oh, okay. It's snowing! Should I go back in and get a jacket? Are you cold? Funny. I'm not cold at all. Then you should be fine. Hey, Joey. Yeah? How come she leaves footprints, but you and me don't? Oh, well, uh, that's easy. Just between you and me? She's much here. I can hear you, you know.
This is it. Thanks for taking me. I've got my own key. I can get in on my own. Sure. You, uh, you be safe now. It fits. He's asleep. Yeah, he's had a rough time of it. Does he know? Know what? Does he know that I'm, you know? No, he doesn't. Not yet. Good. Do you remember what happened? How you... how it happened? Not really. I remember being with my mom. It was dark and cold, but she was telling me everything would be alright. That I would be safe. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Why? It's not your fault. Doesn't matter. This kind of thing shouldn't happen. Lots of things happen that shouldn't. It's just... stuff. Yeah. Stuff. So, what now? <sighs> just... just come with me. Kendra, I'm gonna have to ask you to trust us, okay? You don't have to ask. I already do. Fair enough. Come over here. Just take a hold of this. Okay. The music. It's amazing. Music? It's everywhere. Can't you hear it? It's like every instrument ever made is a part of it. Do you think... Do you think they need a piano player? I don't see why they wouldn't. I'm gonna need to practice. But somehow, I think I'll have plenty of time. I guess you can't come with me? I'm sorry. This is a trip you have to take alone. Tell them I'll miss them, okay? Of course. Still standing, at least. Yeah, bright side. She was so... easygoing. Something about kids, I guess. Their minds are more adaptable, flexible to new ideas, even death. Do you really believe that? Do we have any other choice? Come on, we're not done yet. Leah, are you there? Oh, it's you, Bestower. Kendra is safe, Leah. You mean she's... She's moved on. She said goodbye to her father, and she said... She said she'll miss you. How could something that was so right go so horribly wrong? I went to a few meetings, and then I knew I had to join the police academy. It was like a lightning bolt. What kind of meeting? We were all so lost, so hungry for direction and not knowing where to go. All of us searching for that elusive something, that revelation that would fix our lives. The meetings at Grace somehow gave them to us. Gave them to you? Yes. No matter how confused we were, we all found our way. But this, all this was the price. Leah, I need you to focus and tell me what happened. I loved being a cop. I loved being a mother. I did good, didn't I? I thought I did. And you, you do good. That's what I heard. You always help, right? I help the dead. That's what I'm counting on. What? No! Jesus! Did, 
Did it work? Why, Leah? Why do this? I'm sorry, but it's the only way. My only escape is through you. I know what you did for Kendra. Now do the same for me. Please, please, before they come for me. Okay, Leah, here's how it works. That's Officer Piero to you, and I know how it works. Great, that saves time. Red here is gonna take you somewhere safe, and when she does, you're gonna have a chat, okay? Fine, fine. Let's just do this quick. You hear me? Don't let this one just fly off into the light. Don't worry. All right, then. It's so quiet here. That little room was quiet, but not like this. It's like I'm hearing everything and nothing at the same time. Can you hear it? No, but Kendra said something similar. Is she out there somewhere? Yes. But Leah, before you go, I need you to tell me how you got this way. What led you to this? We called it the Grace Group because we met at Grace Church. We met once a week. We would talk. It was nice. So it was kind of a self-help group? Kind of. Kind of? What did you talk about? Funny, I don't remember. All I know is that it worked. For all of us. It was like magic. We all learned what we were meant to be. I joined the police academy and never looked back. George discovered a love of art, made a killing as a dealer. George, he won't be out there, will he? He's gone. He risked himself, and then he... Oh! What was that? Oh no, Leah, get through the light, quick! I... I can't move. How did they find me? Here of all places! I don't know, just try and hold on. You were supposed to help us! I'm trying, please, I just need time. <laughs> no! Not again. Not again. Hey, you okay? No. No, I'm not okay. We were too late. Too late? She was taken, just like George was. All she went through, she did it for nothing. I refuse to believe that. I just can't. Did she say anything, anything at all that could help us? There wasn't time. And there was something else. Something else? How did you get in here? What the- Leah? Um, look, I can explain. Turn around. Hands behind your head. No, wait, listen, I don't have time for this. I said turn around. Hands behind your head. On the floor. Please, just... Now! 